It's T-shirt weather, definitely the time to get outside and do a little bit of entertaining. Now, who doesn't love a few candles running down the centre of the table? So what I want to show you are some candle holders that are super easy to make. If you're handy like I am, you've probably got a bag of this lying around in the shed. It's quick set cement. Now, to mix it up, I do want to say that you have to wear goggles, you have to have some gloves for your hands and you do need a mask. Then you can start mixing. If you add boncrete to your water, you're going to make it much more durable, so it stops the concrete breaking. So now we can add our water. So just a little bit at a time, a bit like making pancake. OK, so now all the powder has been soaked basically there's nothing flying into the air so you can take off your glasses and the mask and you can see what I've got here is this nice kind of a thick road basey kind of mix. Now as for the shape you can literally dig in your recycling bin. You can get some fantastic different shapes. You could do milk cartons which would give you square candle holders. You could do things like these takeaway tubs or even these round takeaway containers. The important thing to do is to make sure that they're flexible enough to be split when everything is nice and dry. So this is perfect, it's a good shape. To act as a release agent, you will need to line it with a little bit of oil. So I'm using spray oil, very light. And the same again on this tub, you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so now we can start scooping. Kind of makes me think of sandcastle building. It's the same consistency as wet sand. So we're going to pack it in. Helps every now and then if you give it a bit of a tap. That's going to get all of the air bubbles out. So obviously we need somewhere to place the candle. So we need to create a divot in the centre, and that's where this tub comes in. And then just give it a gentle press. Obviously, the deeper you go, the deeper the recess. You will need to leave it overnight, maybe even a couple of days. But the one thing to remember is to use some tape over the top, because as it dries, it kind of wants to push that other container out. So anchor it down. That's it. So to show you what they look like when they're dry, we did some a day or so ago. Oh, see, that's looking good. On the top, it's quite white. That's the lime that comes out from the cement, but the base, it's that darker grey. That's because it's not fully cured. It's still a little bit damp, but these air bubbles are exactly the look I was after. That says cement to me. It's beautiful. You want to sit that to one side and allow the base to fully dry and cure off. And once you've done that, this is how it looks. It dries this beautiful powdery white. And you can see again, that's the lime that's coming out. It's quite volatile, but we will seal that off with some boncrete in a minute. First thing I need to do is put my mask back on, just sand up the top just to clean off these edges. And then with some of the boncrete and the water solution, I'll just add a little bit more, mix that in. That will be my sealing solution. So that's the basic idea. Really all that limits you now is just the shape. So if you've got some old melamine bowls, you could use those. I know I said before that you want to have something that's quite flexible, but if you take it out of the mould before it's fully set, you should be OK. Small round bowl in the top, large round one underneath. Look at that. That's a really lovely, soft shape. I like that one. If you've got anything like this in your recycling bin, you know, the old margarine tubs, if you want something slightly taller, that's where you would use your juice or your milk carton. It's even got the shape from the bottom there. It's great, isn't it? All of these beautiful patterns and details, a great little look for your outdoor table.